Now let's talk about the actual process itself. This is a male part, and we're going to take a sheet of plastic like we started with, and we're going to heat this piece of plastic. We're going to form it over a tool. The tool is going to look very much like this part. The material is heated. It's draped over the tool. Atmospheric pressure is going to push it down on the tool, and then vacuum will evacuate the trapped air. Okay, this is our sheet out of the oven. Notice the sag. The mold is going to come down into the sheet. The vacuum is going to evacuate the trapped air and atmospheric pressure will finish forcing the material up against the tool. Fans will kick on and the cooling process will start. It will stay in this position until the material has reached below the deflection temperature. So this will take a couple of minutes. You see the fan is now kicked on. And when it's below deflection temperature, we'll index around, we'll start the process again. Okay, the mold is now separating. The part's gonna index around and a new sheet of plastic will come out and contact the mold. Now, let me talk a little bit about the attributes of this part. This is the tool side, so all of your dimensions that you've called out are going to be on this surface. Your critical dimensions are here, your tolerances are all here. Now, there's nothing wrong with this side of the part, but you've got the tool dimensions here plus this material thickness that goes together to make the dimensions on this side of the part. So keep in mind when you're designing, if you need to fit over something, this male forming would be an ideal process. If you need to glue things to the back, you also get your texture in your sheet. It's all formed right here. And there's many textures available here on the table. I've got an assortment of textures, a lot of standard textures that could be available on this sheet. So that's our male process. Now let's talk about the female process. This part is pulled in a female mold. You'll see the detail here from the tool surface. Here again, we're gonna heat the sheet. We're gonna pull it into a tool. And as the material gets hot, it drapes over the tool. Here again, vacuum is gonna evacuate the trapped air. Atmospheric pressure is gonna push down and force this material into the tool. So here again, let's talk about the attributes. All of your detail are gonna be on this side. See the fine lettering here? This is a material handling tray. They wanted the, the parts to fit very tightly in this part. So we use that as the tool surface. We flip this part over and for every action there's going to be a reaction. For all these dimensions we add this material thickness right here and we come up with the dimensions on the back of the part. Tell us how the part works, what attributes you need, what material attributes do you need. Does it fit with something? Does it fit over something? Does something go in it? And then our engineers can help you design the perfect part. So don't worry about is it male, is it female. Just let us know what you need and we'll help you design.